I'm a big fan of collecting books, specifically rule books. I've got loads of different sorts of rule books across loads of different sorts of genres, most of which I'm never going to play. But there's so many games that are available nowadays where you can only get a PDF and taking them down to the copy shop and getting them punched and the little ring binder put on them is, you know, great. And I've done that to loads of books, but nothing beats actually stitching and binding your own rule book and adding a wonderful hardcover. G'day everyone, I'm Viv. Welcome back. I hope you're all keeping well. I've been stitching and binding books for the last couple of years. I haven't done many, probably four or five different books. And every time I make one, it, it's like um, it's like mold making a little bit. Every time you finish a mold and you take that first cast, like, I just want to do another one. I want to do another one. What else can I mold? What else can I cast? And book binding is like that. When you sit down with a book that you've finished, it's so enjoyable. Anyway, the process is really, really straightforward. You know, most PDFs that are available aren't designed to be printed in the format that you need to actually, uh, you know, stitch and bind your own book. Now, this project, like all my others, I used a program called Bookbinder 3.0. It's a very old program, but you can find it on the internet and I'll include a link in the description uh, to reformat that PDF. In this case, I'm using the collector's guide for the Lord of the Rings uh, strategy battle, battle game uh, miniatures. It's an unofficial publication put together by somebody I don't know. I'll put a link to the One Ring forum or whatever it's called in the description. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, they've been maintaining that uh, for a while. It's up to, well, I downloaded version 8.1. I hope it's the most recent. No doubt it will be out of date very, very soon. But then I can make a new book and that would be amazing. Uh, so I downloaded that, ran that through Bookbinder 3.0, and that formatted the PDF into the page sequence that I needed to be able to put together my signatures. And now a signature in, in uh, this book format that, that I'm making is basically a sequence of pages, in my case eight, that when folded together into a little booklet, uh, you know, it runs sequentially. So, you know, you wouldn't have page one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. You'd have the pages would be staggered, uh, you know, page one, 16, two, 15, three, 14, or whatever, however it goes. I have never paid attention. Anyway, I ran it through Bookbinder and printed off the PDF and then began the process of folding together all the bits of paper and smoothing them out. Uh, I don't have a bone folder. I just use the edge of a knife. Uh, it's a rounded surface, it's not going to catch too much on the paper and it helps really smush down that uh, seam so you can get a nice tight book. I've watched a whole load of different tutorials on uh, YouTube, you know, it's so wonderful, there's so many great things out there. I specifically would recommend a channel called Sea Lemon and I'll leave a description to uh, her channel, a link to the description, uh, a link to her channel in the description. Uh, go and check it out. I'll, I'll link specifically a couple of videos where I learned to do this sort of case binding uh, for the books that, uh, that I've done in the past. Now, you know, it's not a difficult process. It's just a little fiddly. It takes a little bit of time. Um, you know, I go through a whole bunch of different sorts of tools because I don't have everything that uh, I think her name is Jennifer has, you know, I don't specifically don't have an owl for punching the hole. So, you know, I used uh, various different sorts of things, a file at one point until it snapped. Uh, I thought maybe I'll get a nail out and, you know, just gently hammer that through. Uh, but that turned out to be too big, that hole. And then I thought, you know, a push pin would be absolutely perfect. So I went through and uh, punched out all the holes in all of my signatures and began the process of stitching them all together. This is a really enjoyable process. It takes time and it can be mildly frustrating, pushing the needle in and out, trying to make sure that it's going into the right areas or, or between the folds. But it's one of those things that, you know, just, you know, do one signature, add your next on, stitch that, add your next on, stitch that, add your next on, stitch that. It's just slowly, slowly happens. It's a really enjoyable process. Uh, it takes a, a little bit of time, but once it's done, you know, all of a sudden it starts to look like a book. Um, I made my own book press, very, very simple thing to make, basically two pieces of plywood with a couple of bolts with some wing nuts on it, which I can sandwich my book between now. It's really important uh, to be able to 
clamp the book while you're gluing the spine to make sure that the book's going to be nice and tight. I'm really lucky that uh, at the studio, Scott is a Photoshop wizard. So he helped me put together a, you know, a cover that looks reasonably professional for this book. I wanted to put the book into a hard cover. I didn't have the right type of cardboard to make a hard cover book. So I just simply used a 1.85 millimeter MDF that we have at the studio and it worked out really, really well. It's nice and solid. It has really good weight. It feels really good. So Scott helped me put together a uh, Photoshop document and you know, we had all the measurements and everything were all as close as we could get it. And I had that printed at my local office works on some 140 GSM uh, high gloss paper because on our laser printer at the studio that it would have just cracked and chipped. As soon as I folded the paper, it would have been really bad. Um, I had two copies printed because I knew that I'd screw one of them up. And you know, I, was, I haven't made a hardcover book with uh, MDF before and I wasn't sure how to glue it essentially. I first tried to use some PVA and I just ended up with too many wrinkles, too many creases, bubbles, you know, I'd, it could probably be done, but you know, I probably just did it the wrong way. Uh, so you could probably use PVA to glue the paper to the MDF without all the bubbles that I had, but you know, I'm not well versed in doing that. So I was lucky enough to uh, have another set of uh, the hardcover templates, which I cut at the studio. You know, <laughs> I always know I'm going to stuff something up once. So I grabbed a second copy and used some Yoohoo glue, some little... Uh, you know, that tacky craft glue that kids use for gluing things together. Um, and it worked absolutely perfectly. Um, I'm really happy with it. There's nothing better than sitting down with a book. Yes, having PDFs is convenient. You can carry lots of them in your pocket and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, I'm old school. I like to sit down and actually flip through a book. Um, you know, not, not just rule books, but novels and everything. You know, I've tried reading things on my computer or on my phone or, you know, a tablet once when I had one of those things. Um, it's just the book, a book, there's nothing better than a book. So this process is really easy. It does take a little bit of fiddling about, but uh, it's super, super enjoyable. And if you've got PDFs out there that you'd actually like to have a proper physical copy, not one of those, you know, punched out and spiral bound books from your copy shop, a proper book that's stitched and bound and, uh, Give it a go. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful project. And I think, uh, you know, it's a kind of not a natural extension of our hobby, but, you know, it pulls another hobby into the orbit of this one. Uh, there we go. What a great fun project. I hope you're all keeping well. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you soon. See ya. Make sure that the book's going to be nice and tight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm really lucky that uh, at the studio